What was the game in your elementary school gym class? Foursquare. It got intense. Some days, the line to play was so long, you might not ever get a chance to play before the bell rang. Tennis baseball was another big one. Everybody is it kinda straightforward. Everyone is trying to tag each other. If you get tagged you sit on the floor right there. If the person who tagged you gets tagged you get back up. If you touch each other at the same time or palm to palm rock paper scissors breaks a tie. It ends up being a lot like ninja. I used to play it, we called it chaos tag. It was pretty fun tbh. Remember those little scooters that were square shaped and super low to the ground? Whenever we'd have a free day, the best days of course, in gym, we used to lay on them and have a friend pull us around the gym with a jump rope that we clung to for dear life. Those races were intense and dangerous as frick. If we got our fingers smashed under the scooter wheels, my teacher's response was usually something like, you want me to cut it off I miss that old man. I remember absolutely wrecking one kid. I can't quite remember what happened but he ended getting launched into the wall in the same way someone gets launched from a fast merry-go-round. Was great fun. Knockout. All the kids get in a line person shoots the basketball if you miss you throw a game but they next person in line gets a chance to knock you out. If they make it before you you're knocked out. I was never really good at it. And if you really wanted to frick someone over, you would use your ball to knock their rebound 50 yards across the asphalt. Heads up 7 up, you always knew you tapped your thumb because your friends always picked you, and also because everyone was a filthy cheater and had their eyes open. I would, ooh um, tap my neighbor's thumb. 8 kids would stand up when there was only 7 kids picking, it was fun. Every lesson we played a few rounds of where hat angst vom schwarzen man. That's German and translates to who's afraid of the black man. After a little research I found out you guys call it who's afraid of the boogeyman. Mission impossible. All the equipment was randomly spread out from one end of the gym to the other. Tumbling mass. Hula hoops. Steps. ETC. The class then splits into two teams. And you have to be the first to get everyone to the other side without touching the floor aka extreme floor is lava. If you hit the floor you go back to the start. It was encouraged to move stuff around and build paths, but keep in mind that if someone restarts they still need a way progress. People on floor scooters equals gods, they could roll out and collect whatever you needed. This game was filled with sabotage and screaming, but also taught teamwork and communication. Plus it was always fun when the gym teachers joined in. 100% would play it again. The unfortunately named game of pin down. It was dodgeball. But the ultimate goal of the game was to knock down 5 bowling pins standing behind each team. Players could be eliminated and brought back on the court. But the last person on the court could not be eliminated so that they could defend the pins. We did this but the game was named after the gym teacher and we had traffic cones with wiffle balls on top. You could win by dodgeballing the other team 100% or by sniping the balls. So we played a game called what's the time, Mr. Wolf. Someone would stand with their backs to the others a set distance away, and they would be Mr. Wolf. The others would ask what the time was, and the Wolf would respond with one. The others would take a set number of steps, depending on the time given. For example, 6 o'clock equals 6 steps. All the time getting closer to the Wolf, who, at their choice, could instead of a time, reply dinner time and chase the others back towards the start. Whoever was caught would replace the Wolf. It was great fun, and could play for ages. We played Medic. It's a variation on dodgeball except when you were tagged, you had to immediately sit down. Each team had a Medic who could revive players after they'd been hit, but Medics can't revive themselves. Games would go on forever since they ended when all players were eliminated. It got crazy. We'd have kids who would act as guards for the medics while the other team would come up with elaborate traps to get the other team's medic to revive their players in inconvenient locations. We call it Dr. Dodgeball. We had three fake doctors for each real doctor. We had guards. We had it all. Sharks and minnows. Small number of kids are sharks and the miners try to run across the gym. If you're tagged by a shark you become a shark. The shark side grows larger as the minnow side grows smaller. We do that in a pool. If you're underwater, you're safe. Basically whoever has the stongest lungs wins. 
Bunkerball. It was like dodgeball except the two teams could use materials used in regular gym class to build a giant bunker to hide from the balls. However, there always had to be at least one person outside the bunker so the whole team couldn't just hide in there. The building a functional bunker was already fun, so combining it with dodgeball which is also fun on its own equals double the fun math checks out. We did something like that, but 3 gym mats propped up on each side, and you could advance territory. I miss playing it. We'd hide the balls and then wait until the other team had none left. Great fun. Dodge the food. Given how small the school itself was, the one hall we had was used for pretty much everything. This unfortunately included both where we all ate, and where we did PE. Given how little time the dinner ladies had to clean everything up before PE started, plus how goddamn lazy they were, there was not a single day where a copious amount of food was not still on the floor. None of this would be so bad, if we weren't forced to do PE barefoot. So basically we'd spend an hour running around trying to do whatever it was we were supposed to be doing, but the added task of dodging all the bits of food laying around. Not really a gym class game but the question reminded me of a game we used to play in the playground called C. We'd split into two teams and each team would decide on a four letter word. The object of the game was to beat up members of the opposite team until they gave you a letter. Giving a wrong letter was a big no no and the winning team was whoever got the opponent's word the quickest. Gaga. It's still insanely popular here. Kids play it in gym class and at summer camp. Families build gaga pits in their yards, etc. Bro you can just drop a name like that and not explain yourself for 10 hours. We played the penis game. Someone would shout penis, and then the next person had to say it louder. Winner is whoever had the balls to shout P-E-N-I-E-I-I as the loudest before we got shut down. That was our lunchtime game. The game with no name. A mix of dodgeball and basketball. Each side of the gym has a trash can in the back middle, and the goal is to throw as many balls into the opponent's trash can as you can. All while you can be pegged by those same balls by people on the other side. For us, it was called Kingpin. It was dodgeball in all but name, since dodgeball was banned. Two teams on opposite sides of a line, each team had three bowling pins behind them. You lost when all three of your pins were knocked over. It just so happens that if a player was hit by a ball they were out. To balance things out the first player out became the team captain. If a player caught a thrown ball the thrower was out and the captain on the catcher's side got to pick a player to send back in. Line tag. Not many play it. You stand in two lines. Two teams facing each other. Two people from opposing teams secretly tell the coach their choice among rock paper, or scissors. The coach announces the winner and the team who loses immediately has to run to a safe point. The winning team is to chase them and tag them if tagged they join their team. It gets pretty crazy when no one knows which team has won so you don't know if you're going to chase or run away. Great way to get kids to run. Friendships were laid on the line whenever we played a kickball. If we had bases loaded and you failed to deliver, you'd become an outcast. Capture the flags jewels chickens, with rubber chickens. Usually our gym class played with just two teams, but once we combined all three classes for that period and made six teams for maximum chaos, or we played scooter ball. Since we weren't allowed to play dodgeball, the teachers had us ride on those little butt scooters and throw balls at each other. So technically, not dodgeball. Backboard bombardment is dodgeball on steroids. Very satisfying to sink a half court shot in the net and allow all your dead teammates to re-enter the game. Malay. Everyone got a ball. If you hit another kid with your ball, they were out and you got their ball. If you missed, and someone else picked up your ball before you could, they got to keep your ball and you were out. I began as a screaming free for all, wound up as three kids waddling around trying to hold, aim and dodge eight balls at the same time. Matball. It was basically kickball but indoors in a gym and mats instead of bases which could have 10 plus kids on them at a time. That was the game where boys became men. We did this, but we hit the ball, usually a volleyball, with our fists because kicking it was too forceful indoors. Still a heck of a lot of fun though. It was called pinball, a variation of dodgeball. We had the standard red bouncy balls, 
but you were trying to knock over three spread out bowling pins on the opposite side. You could still knock people out of the game per the regular dodgeball rules, but adding the pins created a unique challenge. Also, the week we played hockey was always the highlight of the year. We all sucked at it, but we had so much fun playing it. Oh we play the first one, but with cones, with tennis balls on them. The tennis ball falls off, and the bench in the middle of the section advanced by one. Steal the bacon. I barely remember the rules. Bowling pins. One versus the rest of the class. Or was it one on one? I just remember we used to get hyped playing it. We played battleship dodgeball. Super fun. You would have a couple mats and you had to stand on those. If you wanted to move you either had to jump but they were pretty far. So another way was moving on those scooters. Super weird and fun. There wasn't really a name for it, but they would lower all of the basketball hoops in the gym. Six total two on the ends, four on the sides, and each hoop had a team to defend it. You scored points by scoring in other team's hoops and you lost points by getting scored on. It seemed like there were always 3-5 balls in play too. It was awesome. 90% of the time we played variations of what was basically a mass run and tag game. Red light green light. Red rover. Run for your supper. What time is it fox. Duck duck goose. Sly fox. Mother may I. And so on. We played this variety of dodgeball where if you got hit you had to be wheeled on one of those portable skateboard things. If people from opposing sides got hit at the same time then you would have to race and whoever got back first got to go back in. Great game. And frick that stupid parachute thing. Hoop wars. Use the football field or soccer field and put 5 hula hoops in each end zone where the nets would be. So the goal is to have as many hoops as possible by the end of the game. You get a hoop by reaching it and touching it without the other team touching you. If the other team touches you when you cross to their side you go to jail and must stand inside a hoop. You can be rescued if someone from your team reaches the hoop you are standing in. The hoop and all jail team members inside the hoop get taken back to your side. Base 21. It's got a Norwegian name too but that's the name it went by when I played it in Australia. It's a weird combination of hide and seek and tag. The aim of the game is to get to the base, usually a pole or tree and yell 21 home without getting tagged. The hiding part is because the tag counts to 21, hence the name, and when they turn around, they're allowed to tag anyone they can see by running back to base and yelling 21. Player name. It becomes a game of the tagger trying to find everyone who's hiding without moving too far away from the base, or someone might run behind their back to everyone else waiting for the perfect time to sprint to the base and declare themselves safe. I mean we'd also play it at recess but my school was near a forested lake and whenever the weather was good the gym teacher would let us go down there and play it in the forest, which was great fun. We played tackle football in elementary. Our school was the old high school, complete with the old high school football training field. It was called Gaga. You were in a round, ish. Ring with a wall maybe 18 inches high and a bunch of people would get in and there was a ball, soccer ball, dodge ball, something like that, and you would hit the ball with your hands, and if it touched your legs feet you were out. The goal was to get people out and be the last man standing. The OG Fortnite, really. Star Wars Tag, involved with one kid being Darth Vader aka the Tagger and two kids being Jedi. Nobody knew who was who. If you got tagged you became space junk and the Jedi could save you. I think there was more to it but I forgot I haven't played it in so long. We had these things called scooters. They have four wheels with either a yellow or a blue plastic base. If you got the blue one, people bow down to you. We would do games like scooter tag and scooter drag races. But the best game of all was scooter hockey. Basically hockey but on scooter. We had to be on our knees and have small hockey stick and the goals were tipped over so we had to score at the bottom end. A buddy of mine ended up getting a hockey stick to the face. Germ warfare. Half of the class on each side of the cafeteria. We didn't have a gym. Some balls made out of wool. And four yellow. Plastic wiffle ball bats. It was like dodgeball, but with the wool balls. If you were struck you got sick and had to sit down. Two doctors on each side were unarmed but carried a syringe. Bat, 
that could heal down players. Being a doctor was the prized, but most targeted, position. A game called Rimscutter. It was dodgeball but with an added dynamic of basketball. You played on a basketball court with both hoops down. If you hit the other team's backboard, someone that was out on your team comes back in. If you hit the rim, everyone on your team comes back in. If you make the basket or eliminate everyone on the other team, that's a W. The backstory is one day the gym teacher was absent and the substitute told us we had to make up our own game. Lo and behold, we came up with a form of dodgeball. Except you kick the ball instead of throwing it. It caught on pretty quickly and it became the preferred activity whenever we got to vote on what to do. Suicide. A group of kids stand about 30 feet away from a wall. We did it against the outside of the gym during recess because it was a hard building. You throw a ball against the wall and it comes bouncing back. Someone goes and catches the ball. If it bounces more than once and you attempted to catch the ball everyone would go and punch that person until they touch the wall. If you threw the ball and it touched the floor before the wall you also were punched by all. Only the boys played this for obvious reasons. Also if you went for the ball then chickened out you were a target. A game called Mat Ball. We still play it in high school. It's basically kickball. But we use gym mats as bases and you have to go around the bases twice. Some games can get pretty heated. My friends and I would play a game where we would throw quarters at each other I believe we called it hey let's throw quarters at each other. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.